When you receive the equipment, confirm you have received everything you ordered. You should have the correct number of units, probe, zero filter, manual, charger cord, screwdriver, extra probe filters, and calibration certificate. The unit operates on rechargeable batteries and will run for approximately six hours on a single charge. The unit will come fully charged and ready to operate. If you are not planning to use the unit within 24 hours of receipt, you should recharge the unit by attaching the charger to the unit and to an AC outlet. Let charge overnight. You should regenerate the sensor prior to starting your survey. First, push the on button to turn the unit on. Attach the charger cord to the unit and plug it in. Push the regen button. HHH will be flashing on the screen. Regeneration takes approximately 15 minutes. When HHH stops flashing, the sensor has now been regenerated. Turn the unit off. You should also re-zero the unit prior to starting your survey. To do this, connect the zero filter and turn on the unit. Press Sample. The digital readout should drop to near 0.00. .00. If it doesn't, adjust to zero by holding down the zero button and making adjustments with the zero set screw with the screwdriver. Be careful as the set screw is very sensitive. Remove the zero filter when complete. To start your survey, connect the probe and turn the unit on. To collect a sample, point the probe where you want to draw your sample and push the sample button. Go on to the next location and repeat. Continue until done. Record readouts if desired, as the unit will not be data logging or saving any data. When the survey is over, turn the unit off by pushing the on-off button. Remove the probe and repack for shipment back to Galson Laboratories. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat 303-566-7000.